Finish everything that you're doing today. It's gonna be hard. Who gives a Ed, get a break. That ain't no challenge, ain't no change. Gang go two, one, two. Gang! Before the ball snap, I just visualize and take. I just know I'm finna hit him hard. He's like a remote control. No pause button, always on fast forward, and no mute button. Win! Win, 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 win! I tried to beat up on them the whole game, and by the time the second half come, they had enough. Turn it up, D. Best way to describe Ed, relentless. Relentless. Let go! Hold up! Oh! It's another 100 degree day in Houston. Everybody get a swag? The only thing higher than the mercury in the thermometer One, two, three, four, five. One, three, get up. is the Go. energy of Ed Oliver. Good. You're going to try to knock me out. You sure about that? Red. That's it. Good. <laughs> I really could have ran them over, but I didn't want to do that. Go. I was extremely hyper. I could not be quiet and I could not sit still for nothing in the world. I've been this way my whole life. If you go back and ask teachers, they're gonna say the same thing, hyper energetic. Always smiling, always laughing. You got Keith <laughs> from BMT. You know how that boy coming. And then you got Pat from the Woodlands. <laughs> Today, Oliver has reason to smile and laugh. The Cougars defensive tackle is widely considered one of the best players in college football and a projected top five pick. This, despite his decision to shun the Power Five and attend the University of Houston. I'm loyal to my city, loyal to my family. When I committed to Houston, uh, it was plenty of schools that came. It's like, you really going to Houston? I said, yeah, I'm committed. And if I tell you I'm gonna do it, you, you got my word. He says that he's loyal to the soil from his city, um, from Westfield High School. It's what he's grown up around, and this is his town. They said it was career destruction. I wasn't worried about that. They said the conference wouldn't be strong enough. We wouldn't play any competition, and uh, that's not true. Get up, and go brother. Hey! He wants people to see him make plays. Did you see what Ed just did? It seems like that type of gratification motivates him. We always talk about two things, going hard, doing the right thing, all right, and not making the same mistakes. Ed, what can you do here? Uh, I'll put my hand up. Get your hand up. Every practice I grade myself, and I work on the little things that I didn't do good. So one day, I might have went out there and my steps weren't perfect. So the next day I go out there and I work on steps. He's a competitor. He, he's not someone who rests on his laurels. He loves to go out there and, and compete and prove himself each and every day. And um, that's a blessing as a coach. Oliver's never been one to shy away from responsibility. But even his coaches were surprised when this year, given all he's got going on, he added to his. Y'all take this six month old puppy, grown dog. <laughs> the puppy's name? as predictable as the Texas heat. Houston is more so laid back. Look at him right now. All he want to do is be loved on. Big old lap dog. 80 pound lap dog. When I come home, most of the time I'm tired and he just happy and he just want to be with you. As tired as you were, it's like he gave you uh, like a burst of energy. He don't know no better. He don't know how hard your day was. He happy. So he kind of make you happy. Are you the best player in college football this year? I don't know. I, I wouldn't say I am, I wouldn't say I'm not. I wouldn't say anybody's better than me either. Going down and that's Ed Oliver with the sack.